I'm Dr. Estelle Levitin. I'm professor of biology at the University of Tulsa and a fellow of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. For about 30 years now, I have been studying airborne allergens. Right now, we're going to talk some about pollen. Pollen is the male reproductive part of seed plants. Pollen is transferred from the male part to the female part by either insects or by the wind. Here's an example of an insect pollinated flower and you can see it, it has bright showy petals and these help attract the insects. On the other side is a wind pollinated flower. This hanging flower is a cluster of hundreds of tiny flowers and they produce enormous numbers of pollen that is light and easily distributed by the wind. Here are several examples of trees that produce um, small inconspicuous flowers and give rise to airborne pollen. The first is elm, This is oak, birch, mulberry. We have another type of plant here, and this is cedar or juniper. And this is not a flowering plant. It's a cone-bearing plant, like pine. And cedar produces large numbers of pollen in very small cones. You can see the small male cones. Cedars are well known for producing large numbers of pollen. And here's a cedar tree, and you can see the cloud of pollen issuing from it. In the inset, in this photo and the others, you see the pollen grains, and they've been stained to make them easy to see under the microscope. The plants you've just seen are all trees, and these tend to pollinate in the spring. The season may start as early as February for elm and cedars in the south, and continue through May uh, throughout the U.S. As we move on into late spring and early summer, we enter the grass pollen season, and grasses also have small, inconspicuous flowers and produce large numbers of airborne pollen grains. And again, you can see the airborne pollen on this image. As we move into late summer, we enter the weed season. And in North America, the most notorious weed that causes allergy problems is ragweed. We have um, a small photo of a ragweed plant and two different photos of the ragweed pollen here. This is giant ragweed, although it's difficult to get a size perspective of this in this photo. The um, giant ragweed can grow up to 10 or 12 feet tall. Um, this particular clump was about 6 feet tall. On the other side is a close-up of the flowers of giant ragweed. And like the other plants we've been talking about, these can produce huge numbers of pollen. One ragweed plant is estimated to produce one billion pollen grains. These are easily distributed to, through the air and cause misery to many people. <coughs> 